So the teacher is the one with the beautiful silver hair. So Arlene actually taught three kids this morning. And they did, they did really well. I interrupted what Arlene was talking about, the closed containers that she was making, by asking a question about what she and Dee had done recently. They had taken a class in flower pounding. There is a Japanese name to it. You see it here at the top. And so I asked her about that, and she says, oh, yes. She says, I happen to have something that I had done. I had seen my sister Dee's, which was beautiful. She had put it in a frame already. So Dee went back and brought out an apron that Arlene had done, and it looked so easy to do. I can't wait to get home and get my own cloth and my hammers and my flowers and to attempt duplicating what these ladies had done. No okay. Anyway. I know, but it's not me, it's the bat. <laughs> okay, I thought it was me. And... What's that? Tell who this lady is over This here. is Virginia. How do you say your last name? Zuniga. Zuniga, okay. And uh, she is one of my students, although now she is a professional potter because she <laughs> makes things and sells them now. All right. That's it. So we challenge each other. Uh, she's been wanting to make the closed vessels, so I'm doing a sample today so that she can practice doing it and make them herself. Uh, two weeks ago, we did five-pound bowls. So we took five pounds clay and made bowls out of them. Yeah. Oh. And uh, that's a great idea. So uh, if I left it up to Virginia, she would just make bowls, regular soup <laughs> bowls, all day long. Why I said, not? No, you have if to make. If they sell, make them. <laughs> I said you have to so make true. other things, bigger things. You have to make mugs, and uh, so she's been asking about the closed uh, vessels. The li they're lidded, and you actually throw it and close it in, and then when it firms up a little bit, you cut the lid off and. Do whatever you want with it. I think Dee's bringing one back for you. Okay. So I'll wait for her to catch up to me. But yeah, it, no, it's fun learning to do different things. If I see something, I come back and try it. Um, I started doing pottery in about 2006, 2007. Uh, a dear friend signed me up for the class. Uh, he says, you need something, and this is what you need to do. Uh, I've been an artist all my life. I've done woodworking. Uh, tin work, all kinds of stuff, and uh, unfortunately my husband passed away in 2004. Okay. So this dear friend signed me up for a pottery class, and here I am, all those years, many years later. So, yeah. so this is Arlene's, now this is also Arlene's design. Yeah, that, that design is, is Arlene. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But it's a lidded pot, that lid actually comes off. So she made it closed. Right. closed. And then uh, this is one of Virginia's new Virginia's yeah uh, new clay uh, glaze that she has. It's a real pretty pink. And she throws spotted clay, so this is not uh, right. glazed at all. And then this is going to be especially popular here in Front Royal with all the fishing, the fishing trout fishing, and, and stuff. Yeah. So, and then she has some with dogs. Um, my favorite one is she has a canoe. Yep. Uh, do you have any canoe? Uh, yeah, there yes. should be one up. I yeah, think it's in right, blue. We'll, we'll walk around. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, so, Virginia, I want you to bring that top in a little bit. So, but as you. Wobbly. What do I do? Uh, don't worry about the wobble because you're going to take <laughs> it out. Uh -huh. Okay, so you want, you want to bring that up as high as you can. So, just bring it in because you're starting to go wide and we're not making yeah. a ball. I know. So, just bring it back in and then slide your hands up and off. And about how thick are your walls? Well, <clears throat> George had me make it a, a uh, pot, something like that. Okay. And so I did it and everything else. And uh, when I got through, 
it didn't really didn't have a bottom in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So he fired at anybody, anyway, and he had us sitting beside his thing. He says, let me show you what happens if you do it too thin. So he'd hold that up, and here's it. On the outside, it looks beautiful. Hold it up, you see right through yes. it. Yes, <laughs> yep, definitely. So. Okay. All right, Virginia, as you get up near the top, uh -huh. you're going to start tilting your hand inside. So you're going to push in with your left, your right. Push in with my right. And and it's going to curl over your fingers in your left. Oh, okay. So you're going to start like bringing your, your in. clay is thicker than hers. Does it yeah. make any difference? I think so. uh, well, this clay's a little stiffer. Okay. It, it's not very fresh, but I wanted to use it up. And, and uh, right. normally I would pull it up higher, but I didn't want to go much higher than her because I don't want to intimidate her. <laughs> 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 so, but yeah. And then you just... Okay. So then remember when we collared in? All right, so we're going to start bringing that in a little bit at a time so that it tilts in like that. All right. And then what I'm going to do is pull the clay towards the center to make that hole smaller. If you want to come over and watch what I'm doing, you're more than welcome to. No, I think I'm good. So I'm bringing it in. And you might want to slow down at this point. So you're, you're ro rotating it in, making that hole smaller. Come back out. Bring it back in. Okay. <laughs> so it, you're, you're kind of going to collaring it in, making yeah. it smaller and smaller. So you, see that it's a little, a little off here? I think I'm going to... And what I'm going to do is just slowly form it as I'm turning it in. So before you close it up, you're going to make that side nice and smooth okay. and the top. Up, okay. okay. So see. start at your bottom and just start collaring it in, making it, you're going to need your hands wet. And just bring it in a little bit more. This is how you also make vessels that, uh, that have the knob at the top. Uh -huh. Don't worry about if the top is off like this because you're going to probably cut that the part off. bothers me. Well, <laughs> weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Come on. <laughs> So see how I'm bringing it in more and more? This top, I'm not yeah, going to worry. I'm not. I'm not coming in. <laughs> All right, good. Just start at the bottom and just squeeze it in a little bit more. Make it more into like a volcano. Yeah. Right now, you're Slower. still rounded. Right now, you're still rounded at the bottom. Yeah. Bring it up more and squeeze it in like a, a volcano. There you go. You're coming up. I see. And then start squeezing it in a little tighter at the top so that you're bringing it in to close. Okay. It's it's doing. Ooh, it's doing. It okay. Went. It's doing. Wow. All right. Now, when you get to that point, you're gonna put you're gonna put a finger on the inside because uh -huh. you're gonna push out with that finger a little bit, but you're gonna bend it over so that you're and closing that, that hole. Curve. Yep. You're gonna close that hole a little bit more at so each the, time. The left. So see how my fingers are. So this is inside the clay, this is on the outside, and you're pushing that kind of down and in. Good. Now you might not have enough clay at the top to completely close that in. Yeah, that's still a nice shape. Mm-hmm. But you can go down to the bottom and squeeze that up again. Can you go a little faster? Yeah, you go with what's comfortable for you. And then just start at the bottom and bring that clay up again. Squeeze it in a little bit heart further. And then just kind of get it up to that top. I'm about ready to break this piece off. Oh, I think I'm too fast. Okay. No. Just bring it in. That's why you want you want to have a little extra clay at the top. I don't have any. No, you're good. You're doing good. Okay. Now take your finger on the take your finger on the inside and kind of bring a lip up so that you can get this. Which finger? Middle finger. <laughs> which hand? 
Okay. Your left hand. My your left hand. hand. Yep. Yeah. Just take it inside there. Okay. All right. And you're going to push that clay up. Up. So that it fits around your finger. Okay. And then kind of bring it straight up. There you go. So you got a little bit of a lip there. Then you're going to come down about a half an inch and just gently squeeze that in. See how it's coming in? Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. I love it. <laughs> so now you're going to take that finger and go down in and push out that top a little bit, make it a little more rounded. That's where you can also use this to smooth up your sides. So do I, do I push with some way? You're, you're just taking the, 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 the slip the, off and smoothing it out. Okay. When you get near the top, flip it the other way. <laughs> like this to round it off uh, uh. and push in. So if you kept going the way you are, you would have a uh, spout at the top. Arlene makes it look so easy. If you would like to learn how to either work on a potter's wheel or to sculpt your own freestyle, please contact Explore Art and Clay. The phone number is 540-636-6019. There are many people there to help you out in your learning.